Hello everyone, it's Dante. Welcome to actual episode three of the series. Right now, uh, I just got home from school. Um, I had a lot of things to do in the last week or two. So I didn't have really time to actually post or update. I, I made a few sketches, um, but didn't have more time than that. But today I'm finally over with all, the, all of the exams. So I can actually, um, you know, make an update episode. I was kind of lazy, where, where it is? Um, where is my, where did I put it? Where is it? Where is this thing? Oh, ah, here it is, okay. Uh, I, I, I don't know why it was there. Um, so, uh, I didn't have much time to print it, but I basically made um, lost and found paper. You know, you know I wrote, I found a, a, like a giant key. If it belongs to anyone here, come to my place. It's a small village, everybody knows everyone. So they're just going to visit me in a few days if they see the post. The poster, not the poster. If they see the paper. Yeah. Oh yeah, the plan for today is... So we're gonna go place that uh, on the train station. If anything has ever been lost or if anyone finds anything, they post a paper there. It's just something everybody does. Um, and then we're gonna go talk to a few neighbors, just a few people who are at home. If, if it's their key, I'm gonna go ask around a bit. For some reason, it's just been stressing me out a lot. I don't know. Ever since I found it, um, I just had that weird feeling. I don't know why. Um, so I just kind of want to get rid of it as fast as possible. Um, nothing strange. Just, I guess, paranoia. Who knows? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna update to you as soon as we can. Also, yes, it is dark outside. If you're asking why, um, it's that time of the year, you know, when the sun falls sooner and it's dark at eight. No, no, it's not eight, at six, yes. So, yeah, I don't know. I hope nobody went to sleep yet. It's still kind of early, but I didn't have time to do it before. So, um, I can update you when I get to the station. Mm, okay, it's working. Yeah, um, I'm at the train station. It's proof, I don't know, train. Um, give me a second, just gonna pose the thing. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, it's, it's in my language because, I don't know, most people in this village kind of don't understand English. But I, th I think it's a bit floppy, just give me one more second. Okay, I added another line of tape. I think it looks good. Also, th there's the bellings, the bellings, the bell sound. Yeah, um, I think that's it. Um, probably most people are gonna notice it here. Uh, currently, I guess nobody lost anything or found anything, so that's kind of the only paper currently here, so it's gonna be noticed pretty soon. I'm gonna update you when somebody calls or comes by. Okay, now that that's done, uh, I'm also gonna go talk to a few more uh, people in the village, so gonna update you soon on that. Ciao. Ciao. Um, yeah, so talk to a few neighbors in this part of the village. So in the, I think it's Eastern part and nobody has any idea or at least nobody lost a key. So uh, I don't know, uh, which kind of makes sense since it's the furthest part from the forest, but I still wanted to check uh, this part first because it was the closest to the train station. I guess now we're going to talk to the others, other side. Basically, there's like a giant road going through the village and like you have one side and then the other side. So I guess we have half of the houses covered. So that, that's a bonus. Oh, a tunnel. Look at it. It's kind of cool. Also, there's another one there like this. Ooh, spooky tunnel. Oh, yeah, um, so story about that tunnel. Um, we found, me and one of my friends found a hedgehog on the train tracks. It was still alive, so in order to protect it, or to save it, to not get hurt, we carried it all the way somewhere close to the tunnel. And now every so often, when we go by, we always find this hedgehog just 
chilling uh, in the tunnel, especially when it's raining. For some reason, it's just vibing there. It's yeah, it's wholesome. So um, I don't know, like if you like hedgehogs. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. I'm gonna update you when I talk to other people as well. Bye. Walking in the pit dark because nothing bad could ever happen. Oh my god, what the fuck was that? Huh. We are going. Through the village and the forest. Ba -da 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 -da. Okay, uh, the cars finally went by. Uh, so, um, update. It kind of, yeah, it's it took a while, like an hour to get through all the houses. Most of the people didn't even answer the door, so like they're probably not at home. But the few that did were not looking for a key, so um, <laughs> uh, I. Just a second, uh, there's a car coming by. Okay, uh, it left. Uh, long story short, another one. While we're waiting for that, uh, that that's the church um, that was ringing the last time. Yeah, that's it, another car, whoa. Another one, yay. Okay, so seven gajillion cars later. Long story short, basically, um, I forgot that there's like three more houses of the people I know on the previous side of the road, so I have to go all the way back. Be right back. Uh, huh, no, that was a rhyme. God damn it, another car. I am almost there. This is the second time I'm singing the song. I'm so bold. Hello. <sighs> <laughs> Um, I have wonderful and absolutely horrible news. Um, <laughs> wonderful news. Uh, I found the owner of the key. Um, he was in the last house. How fucking awesome. Um, good news, he, he was a friend. Bad news, that means he was not watching my videos because, you know, otherwise he would know it's his key or his family's. Um, yeah, the explanation uh, on how they actually lost it that's what you're probably wondering right now is he's he has a younger brother a nice guy he's like eight i think he likes to play with the key pretend it's you know a key that opens a gate to a magical dimension with fairies and everything like that dragons and he wanted he he's like walking around the forest looking for the gate um no idea why parents you know let him go alone in the forest but um any any ho any how any so he apparently left it in the forest he lost it and someone else found it and just hang it on a tree for some reason i guess that's the thing that i should have done just maybe left it there or not i i it found the owner so i did the right thing probably but yeah <laughs> Um, I still can't believe the, um, mm -hmm. all that work for nothing. I mean, it's not for nothing. I found the owner of the key, but, um, you cannot see my frustration right now, um, because I'm trying to speak English and it's hard to express your emotions in a different language, but God damn. That was so much stress and fear for nothing. Or not, actually, I got, uh, there was a few interesting things I got from this, um, or we got from this. Uh, they have an identical chest. So I was right about the key being for a chest. I mean, that's why it fits. Um, they have an identical one. Like when I'm saying identical, I mean one-to-one -one comparison. Just there's green and has a different paint job in the front. In ours, I think it's brown. And yeah, it opens. It actually looks kind of cool when it just when you do that big. Click and um, but there was like nothing inside besides like a picture, like an old picture. It was like of his. I think parents after the wedding, I guess they put it there, and a few empty papers and an old diploma of their mother so yeah that that was that was interesting um but besides that there was nothing interesting inside the, the old chest their chest is on the attic right not basement attic attic is the thing and they're you know the 
Yeah, the pointy thing. Um, I found a few interesting other items or things. <laughs> I'm in a video game. Items. Um, and uh, one of them was like an old Roman helmet. Like, it looked like the actual thing. It was kind of awesome. I didn't took it with me. But if you guys want me to maybe make a separate video or, I don't know, show it next time. I don't know. Comments. Um... Show the helmet. I don't know. Comment something funny, and then uh, in comment something funny. If you want, if honestly, if you want to, if you want to see it, comment something extremely, extremely funny. Um, if I get at least forty different comments from you people, I'm showing it next time because it actually looks cool and it'd be really, really well paired with my sword. Um, but yeah, besides that, besides the point, I also found something that could be kind of useful for the channel, um, for the videos. Um, and I'm actually really, really excited to show it off. Um, uh, first of all, yeah, they're not using it anymore and the battery is kind of destroyed, ruined. So I'm going to have to find a new one. But the thing I found was an old tape camera. He just said, yeah, keep it. Uh, we were about to throw it away anyway, or sell it on, I don't know, eBay or Slovenian equivalent of eBay. Uh, yeah, this whole thing, it's, it actually looks bonkers, bonkers. Um, and the best part is that it's completely manual. Oh, yeah, and I also hope you can hear me while I was kind of doing this with the microphone. Um, I'm not sure how should I hold it next time. Maybe I should just put it here. Yeah, that, that'd be a good idea. Um, note it. Give me a second. So, the camera, uh, let me just plug it in. The downside is it constantly has to be charging, so we can't really use it now. And the memory card, card has been wiped, according to him. Basically, everything on here is manually controlled. Even the lid, uh, if you want to take out the battery, you have to press a button, push it out. Um, uh, uh, also, oh. It's everything's adjustable. I love it. But yeah, if I turn it on, I'm gonna show more of it in the next episode. Where I'm, where I'm gonna try to play with it a bit. But the coolest part I have to show you right now, the mechanical part, it's this. Doesn't that look cool? And you can take out the tape, uh, you know, do whatever you want to do with it, put it back in. Just plonk, and it goes back in on its own. Isn't that cool? So yeah, um, that's it for the episode three. Goodbye. Oh yeah, we can actually start making a key for the actual chest.